latest news at Indian Creek. My name is Christian. And my name is Christian. And today is Tuesday, February 13, 2024. Today is also Green Day for Related Arts. Please stand as we say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing as we say the Pledge of Allegiance in Spanish. Yo, Yo prometo legal a la bandera de los Estados Unidos en América y a la pública que representa una nación ante Dios en divisible con libertad y justicia para todos. Now, now for, for the, the champion affirmation. I am a champion and a scorer. I am ready to engineer my future. I am respectful, responsible, and safe at all times. I promise to keep exploring all possibilities and challenge myself every day because I am a champion. Now for the daily moment of silence. What what do we have for lunch for on the lunch menu for lunch today? Christian. We are having walk ta walking tacos <coughs> or biscuit sandwich. The sides are street corn, cucumbers with tomatoes, fruit, and juice. Lunch sounds really good for today. Please don't forget to follow the lunchroom procedures. Now to Miss Williams with our black, black Olympic athlete. Michael Jordan is an American businessman and former professional basketball player. He played 15 seasons in the National Basketball Association, NBA, between 1984 and 2003, winning six NBA championships with the Chicago Bulls. During his professional career, he was selected to play for the United States national team, winning four gold medals at the 1983 Pan American Games, 1984 Summer Olympics, 1992 Tournament of the Americas, and 1992 Summer Olympics, while also being undefeated. Now back to the anchor desk. Now to Jonathan for our Far Weather Report. Hi everybody, it's Jonathan Weather Report. Today it will be a high of 44 degrees and a low of 30 <coughs> degrees. And it will be a, a bit sunny today. So I hope to see you at sunny day. So signing up, back to the anchor desk. Hey guys, we are just over halfway through raising money for the American Heart Association. And we have had a handful of kids who completed Finn's mission. Woohoo! Way to go! Here is who has completed the mission. Edsel from Mrs. Cosman's class. Alicio from Mrs. Smart's class. Liliana from Mrs. Henson's class. Nick from Mrs. Stacy Harris's class. Camille Weatherspoon from Mrs. Seuss's class. Congratulations to all those kids for completing Finn's mission. Uh, do you want to be added to the list? Make sure with your parents you go to the American Heart Association's website, register, and then follow the steps to complete Finn's mission, and you too can be added to this list. Shout out to all the students <coughs> that signed up for Finn's mission. Make sure you sign up as well. All right, good morning, everybody. My name's John Moore with World's Finest Chocolate here today to talk to you about your chocolate sale that starts today. It will end on February 23rd, so you have a few weeks to sell as much chocolate as possible for your school. Do you guys like chocolate? Yes. Perfect. So this is the time to start participating to get your permission slip. You'll be receiving this pair of permission slip to take home today. Have that signed and turned in, and you'll get a case of World's Finest Chocolate. There are 60 chocolate bars in a case, all $1 a piece. So you guys will collect a total of how much total? $60. $60, exactly. 
Once all $60 is collected, you will put your money in this collection envelope that comes in every case of chocolate. Put your name, teacher's name on here, have your parents sign the bottom of it to get another case of chocolate. That's how easy it is. You only get one case out at a time, turn in your money, get another case of chocolate. Now you guys are raising money for a great cause for programs and activities that go on during the school year that benefits you all. So it's important to work together as a team to raise as much money as possible. Now when you sell your chocolate, only talk to friends and family, meaning grandma, grandpa, mamma, papa, aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, cousins, close name, friends, mom, and dad. Those are the individuals you want to sell your chocolate to because they're going to be the ones to help support you and your school. Now. There are all six different flavors, six different flavors in every case of chocolate. You have almond, crisp, caramel, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, and our wafer bar. So please make sure you tell your friends and family about those because they're gonna be the ones to help support you on raising a lot of money for your school. Do not talk to strangers, do not go door to door. We want you to be safe, so only talk to friends and family. Now, the easiest way to sell World's Finest Chocolate is to see if your parents can take it to work. If they are able to do so, make sure they know that every chocolate bar costs how much? A dollar. One dollar. They need to collect a total of how much? Sixty. Sixty dollars, exactly. And do not forget, once all sixty dollars is collected, you will put it in this envelope. Your name, teacher's name on it, parent's signature at the bottom of it to get another case of chocolate. Now, the reason why that is the easiest way to sell World's Finest is because, one, your parents do all the work, two, you get all the prizes, and three, my top seller this year sold 53 cases of chocolate. One family sold 53 cases of chocolate by their parents taking it to work, as well as their family were selling it on their social media platform. So be creative, have fun, and enjoy the sale. If your parents can't take to work or sell on social media, that is perfectly fine. By just talking to your friends and family, you should be able to at least sell one case of chocolate, if not two cases of chocolate. Now, two very important rules to know about your chocolate sale. One, when you get your case of chocolate today, the rest of this week and next week, do not open it up here at school. You are not allowed to sell chocolate during school hours, including the bus ride home. Does that make sense, students in yeah. here? Yeah. All right. So, second thing is, y'all know what happens to chocolate when it gets hot, right? It melts. It melts, exactly. This pair of permission slips states you are going to be responsible for the case of chocolate and the money, meaning all $60 has to be turned in by February 23rd for whatever case of chocolate you do have. You're all very responsible individuals, so just make sure you know where your chocolate is at all times and do not leave it in a, don't leave it outside, but leave it in a nice air conditioned room and you will be perfectly fine. Now, this next part is to hear about your prizes. So, if you sell one case of chocolate, do you think you guys would sell one case of chocolate in mm -hmm. here? Perfect. If you sell one case of chocolate, you will be invited to a glow, po glow party here at school, and you can hold this part up. You will be entered into a raffle to win my big five pound chocolate bar. So, sell one case of chocolate, you're invited to that glow party, and you at that glow party will have a chance to win that five pound chocolate bar. You can put that back down, please. Second thing is, if you sell two cases of chocolate, you will get butter slime. We all love butter slime. Sell three cases of chocolate. Do you guys like money? Yeah. Well, you will win money out of my money machine where you have a chance to win a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, or twenty dollars. So, do you guys want to win some money? Perfect. Sell three cases of chocolate. You'll be able to do, do that. Now, if you sell five cases of chocolate, you guys will be able to duct tape Mr. Kemper to the wall. Do you guys want to duct tape Mr. Kemper to the wall? Perfect. So that's if you sell five cases of chocolate. Now, of course, if you find one of my golden tickets in one of your cases of chocolate, Make sure you flip it over, put your name, teacher's name on the back of it, turn in all $60, and you guys will win. You can hold them up by one pound chocolate bars if you find that golden ticket, all right? Now, we do have a top seller prize as well. You guys can put those down. That is awesome. Top seller overall in the entire school will get a TV. Do you guys want to win a TV? Yeah! All right, so that's if you're the top seller overall. Now, the top 25 students, top sellers, top 25 sellers will be able to have a special lunch with Mr. Kemper here at school. Do you guys want a special lunch here at school? All right, perfect. So the top 25 students will be able to do that. 
Now remember to get that case of chocolate. You will get this permission slip today. Make sure you get this bottom part signed and turned in tomorrow to receive your case of chocolate. And remember, all $60 is due in this collection envelope by February 23rd. Thank you guys. Have a great rest of your day and enjoy your chocolate sale. And keep exploring. <laughs> We also can't forget that the second graders are, are selling Valentine hard grams. I have to make sure to buy my friends one for sure. We we are selling yearbooks. You can buy a hard cover or a soft cover yearbook this year. Soft covers are twenty dollars and hard cover yearbooks are twenty five dollars. So start to tell your parents. Don't forget to the expectations throughout the our school. Continue to follow hallway and lunchroom procedures and don't forget to turn off your cell phone. Your cell phone should be turned off and placed inside your book bag. Thank you for tuning in to AT News. Don't forget the champion tip of the month. Have, Have a, a great, great day. day. See ya. See ya.